This video is designed to show you the basic steps to build a duct uh, project in Fast Duct estimating software. Um, first off, uh, click on New Job and enter the name of the job and a description. Select the template from among the templates in the uh, templates folder. Uh, for this demonstration, I'll go ahead and select the shop fab without coil line template. Select the bid date and time if desired. Go ahead and import the plans. Keith, everything on importing the plans in your video was good. Uh, but I'll go ahead and do it here. Import the, the plans. You can select standard color. You may want to select a range, but I'll go ahead and bring in all pages. And um, I'm going to click on import all. For some reason this set of plans brings in a couple of extra sheets. You can delete a sheet by clicking on it and clicking the delete button or clicking on it and right clicking and selecting delete. I'll go ahead and uh, open up the plans. You may wish to rename the plans. You can set the scale. You can zoom in and out using the wheel on the mouse. You can click on the wheel to pan around. Okay, like I mentioned, everything up to uh, the takeoff is is uh, pretty much the same. On the spec, uh, this list of specs is was copied from the template job. If we double click on a spec, you can see the components of the spec down the left hand side of the spec. These are selections from the catalog. Across the top is the greatest dimension. This is a rectangular duct spec. Across the top is the greatest dimension. And you can see the size range for each component in the spec. You can double click on a component to see more detail about the component in the spec. This component is 26 gauge rectangular duct built in four foot joints. The joint type will be slip and drive and the raw material used will be galvanized sheets. Fast duct has preloaded specs uh, the way that many contractors build their ductwork. One other thing to mention is maybe that there are rectangular, round, and oval specs uh, built in the template. At the takeoff tab, you can begin to do the takeoff for the job. Click Add. Choose the specs that you are going to use. Select the area that you are going to bid. Describe a system name. If desired, you can enter some remarks. I'll leave them blank. And then select the plan with which you're going to bid. I'm going to zoom in to the place on the plan where I want to start uh, estimating. Choose your size. Select the item. And mark it on the plan. 
For duct work, center your crosshairs at the center point of the duct. Click and drag along the duct and let go to enter the uh, duct into the takeoff list. On transitions, the program will prompt you for the size that you're going to and also the length. Once you mark the transition, the program will automatically change the size and select duct so that you can continue right on with your takeoff. You can select 90s, Here we have a square to round. Now we can switch to our round menu by choosing round, selecting the size 16 inch and duct, and then measuring the duct, round duct in the same way. T's are included, and if they reduce in both directions, you can use the reducing T run. Mark the T, and again, the size is reduced, and you can continue with the takeoff. Specialty items are shown in the lower left-hand corner. Here we have a couple of balance dampers. Flex duct is taken off as a piece. The fast duct specs are set up with a default of six-foot piece. You can then mark the diffusers using the specialties menu. Change sizes. By, by using the, uh, the, the grid. Once you've completed one portion of the takeoff, if you want to change specs, um, you can do so by creating a new section. Click on New. If the spec is different, you can change it here and also change the system. Now I will take off the return duct by selecting the size, clicking on the item that I want to add to the takeoff list, then marking it on the plan. Okay, Keith, I would start with um, HVAC equipment unless you think it's okay to just take it off along with the items so maybe the first section should be equipment. I'll add a section and choose a spec and for the system I can type in equipment click OK. For equipment in fast duct create a job item and give the job item a mark and a description select a material group you can enter the price and direct it to the equipment page and assign it a price group where all items within a price group will be grouped together.
select the equipment, and mark it on the plan. Oftentimes HVAC equipment will have schedules on the plan. We can zoom into the fan coil unit schedule to see the fan coil units on the job. Sometimes it's easy to create the equipment directly from the schedules. Once you've created one fan coil unit, you can clone the fan coil unit to create another unit. We even have a feature where if you select a fan coil unit, select a piece of equipment, You can select multiple sizes and create multiple fan coils at once. Wow, what just happened? Okay, I selected uh, multiple size. I don't think I've ever done that. Okay, you select the fan coil unit, select multiple tags, assign the numbers, and click OK. If there were, if there are duplicates, uh, you can skip those. Okay. Um, we may want to have this template include job items. You and I can discuss that, uh, Keith. If so, we'll copy them from the fast test uh, HVAC job and copy those in. Now, if we do that, we would clone this fan coil unit, and that way the information would be there, and we can uh, still assign the numbers and and do the uh, and and do the uh, multiple tag feature. Also, uh, on the plans tab, um, I don't know if you ever tell people this, but we could. Uh, tell them when assigning the scale uh, to assign scales um, of isometric if you may be doing takeoff on uh, piping details. Once the takeoff is completed for the um, return duct, uh, you can add a new system for uh, the exhaust. Just select uh, the spec and select the system and click OK. The exhaust has an existing uh, 20 by 18. And we could either put an end cap on there or a transition and then switch to round and put a, a start collar and some straight duct. and some elbows you can then uh, uh, put a squared around from the fan to the round duct and then take off the exhaust fan you can do so by either selecting a specialty for a ceiling exhaust fan or you can create a job item. To create a job item, assign a mark number, a description, you can assign it to a material group, and use the price field to decide which list you would like this to be a part of. 
If you want, if you have multiple fans, you may want to assign a price group. If you leave it blank, it will uh, prompt you for a unit price on the report. Then enter the labor. If there's no labor, enter a zero. Enter the field labor. Click close. Select the exhaust fan in the list and mark it on the plan. Once the takeoff is complete, click close to save the changes. When you're ready to when you've uh, completed the takeoff, click on the reports tab, recalculate all sections. This will give you your material cost, your shop labor, and your field labor. On the material report, you can view the costs of the material. You can click on a group to view the items within a material group. And you can alter the price using the discount field. You can also alter pricing at the pricing page. Each, each item uh, from the project, whether it's on the uh, each item on the project, uh, whether it's taken off or generated uh, from the specs, is shown on the pricing page, and you can adjust the net pricing. In the duct program, in the duct program, fabricated duct pieces will show up as zero. Fabricated and purchased duct pieces will show up as zero on the pricing page, because the cost is trans into the raw material from which the item is built. Here you see we have 251 pounds of 26 gauge sheet metal. There's a special report in the Fast Duck program for non-zero list price to hide these items which will normally be zero. These prices come from the catalog and in the Fast Duck uh, catalog uh, if you fabricate ductwork, you may want to um, put the prices put prices in on items that you use on a regular basis. On the labor report, the labor is sorted in sections just as the job was taken off. We have a tab for shop labor and field labor. To view the detail on a particular section, you can double click on the line or click on the line and click detail. You can see the items taken off and the plus signs are the items that were generated uh, from this takeoff using the spec of the section. You can adjust the labor on the labor report by adjusting the job factor or adjusting the hours directly. Maybe on this labor report it might be mentioned that uh, the unit hours on each item come from the catalog. They are uh, multiplied times a factor from the labor factor table. The totals from all items are added together to give the adjusted item adjusted hours for the item that's taken off. Once the material and the labor have been adjusted, you can load the information into an Excel worksheet. Well, it opened on my other monitor, Keith. Uh, Here's the worksheet. I think everything on the worksheet should be pretty much the same uh, in the duck program. So uh, it should be pretty much the same from here on out. So 
So I'll go ahead and end the video here.